Hey guys, how's it going? So welcome back. Today we're going to do our third question. Okay, so hopefully we'll also do the fourth question if time permits. Um, so the question says, uh, it is given that you have this one, it's, like it's just a symbol for universal set. It means all the elements that we're dealing with in this question, they are just these, okay? So where H is a set of prime numbers and K is a set of odd numbers. So these are special numbers, prime numbers and odd numbers. You should know odd number, it's, it's any number, any odd number that if you divide by, by two, you actually get a remainder, okay? Or you get a 0 0.5 in other words. And uh, for prime numbers, it's these, these are numbers that have two factors on these. So you have one in the number itself. So for example, two, two is a prime number. Okay, so three is a prime number as well. Best advice, know your prime numbers right from, from two to, 7, 10. Okay, so know them by heart. Know those numbers. Okay, and also know their squares. That's important. Okay, so without further ado, you asked you list the elements of H. So you can say H, uh, then you say equal to, then you put here uh, those curly brackets here. Still fine. Okay, so H prime numbers. One is not a prime number. Okay, this is uh, one of the um, uh, most confusing parts about prime numbers for, for students. One is not a prime number. Why is one not a prime number? Because it has only one factor. It's only one, okay? Prime numbers have two factors. There it has to be one and another number, okay? So here, one it's not, but two is. So we're going to include two. Three is, definitely. It's three and one, three factors. Four is not, it has three factors. You have four, you have two, then you have one. So we're going to skip it, then five. That's why I was telling you that if you actually just commit to memory these numbers up to 17, then you'll be good. Eight is not, nine is confusing, but it's not, okay? So, because three is also affected there. So you actually have three, you actually have nine, and you actually have, you actually have one, okay? So 10 is not definitely. So here you have done, this, this are the uh, elements of, of, uh, of H. When you ask to find a uh, uh, number of, so this N simply means number of, uh, H, E, and K. That means you, you can do this step by step. First, you have to ascertain H, union K. Okay, so that means uh, our H is 2, 3, 5. And the way, the way that I'm writing today, you can just uh, straight up do the same thing. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very easy way of presenting your stuff and you won't, you won't likely go wrong. Okay, so year K, odd numbers. So you're not looking for odd numbers in here. So odd numbers are one, one is included this time. It's just an odd number, okay? So three, then you have five, then you have seven, nine is definitely included as well, okay? So you want to unite the sets. How do you do it? So H, union, K first. So this one is not you, it's, it's actually this cup here, but then my, my writing is just lousy. Okay, so here what you do, uh, best advice is, just write your longer set. So write your longer set, longer set here is K. So write one, three, five, seven. If you write by comparing, it's it's uh, it's not it's more likely that you know you uh you skip maybe one or something like that. But then if you write the longer set, then you can just go and compare. Did I write two? Oh I didn't write two, so we should unite two with this group. Or did I write three? Oh, it's included already. Five? Oh, it's included. Seven already? Oh, it's included. Okay. Not having to say, oh, two. Should I? Something like that. Okay. So this is how you do it. And then now you just say number of H union K. It's equal to, it simply means uh, what, how many elements are there? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So it's simply six like this. And then you're done. So this is how you'd, uh, you'd work it out. Let's uh, quickly move to the next question. The next question says, um, given that you have f of x equal to this. So these are functions. So a function you can uh, think of it as something who, uh, about which if you give an input, it gives you a specific output, okay? So you give something and then you get something set in, okay? So here we are giving x, that's what it simply means. Okay, so here, uh, if they say f of negative two, if they ask you to find uh, find f of negative two, what they did is that they replaced where we saw x here, they actually put negative two. So just do the same and then see what comes out of, out of it, okay? So f of two, f of negative two, I mean, would be equal to, so it's uh, three minus four, 
then you put negative two here. So it's a, it's, it's a matter of substitution. And one of the general guidelines in substitution is that just use brackets always, always use brackets. That way you don't uh, get your, your signs mixed up, okay? You're very clear about your signs. If you don't use brackets here, you, you actually think that it's negative four minus two, okay? So always use brackets, even when it's obvious, it's just good practice. So here you have uh, three, then here minus four, multiply by minus two, so minus and minus, you actually get a uh, plus, then you get eight here. So this one should be, should be 11 like this, okay? So that's it. And uh, on, the, on the next part, we are going to wrap this off. On the next part, you are, you are asked to find x if f of x is equal to, is equal to 19. So f of x, we're told this is f of x. So now we just have to say uh, it's equal to, it's equal to 19, okay? So f of x is equal to 19 is equal to 3 minus 4x like this, okay? So here we're just supposed to simplify this, uh, to simplify this equation here to get x. So you're looking at three minus, I'm just rearranging here, equal to, equal to 19. So 4x, we can put this one over here, okay? So that becomes positive. Um, it's okay to use, to use um, our negatives, okay? But then sometimes it can be dangerous, okay? So you can uh, get the signs mixed up. That's why I always shift the um, variables in such a way that they become positive. So this one shifts there. And then at the same time, I'm shifting this one there. So that's, what, that's why it's changing its sign. Whenever a number skips the, the equal sign, we call it transposition. We call it uh, we're transposing a number if you want to be a teacher at some point. Okay, so our uh, three minus minus nine actually get um, negative 16. Here, these are directed numbers. If uh, you're getting this mixed up, you use what's called the different signs rule. Different signs rule is you identify, if you were to ignore the signs, which one would be bigger, three or 19? Oh, it's definitely 19. Yeah, so just put the sign of the dominant number in terms of just size, it's negative. Then you just say bigger number minus smaller number. Then you get this one and it's still fine, okay? So here, and then uh, you divide by, by four both sides. That's how you get rid of the four there, since it's multiplied. So here you get um, x equal to, equal to our negative four here. So you can actually go ahead and rearrange this one and get this, okay. So that's it, and you're done. So, and uh, in, the, in the B part, we asked you uh, express 15 minutes before midnight as a time in 24 hour notation. So 15 minutes before midnight, uh, you can just think of it as what would you write uh, in 12 hour notation. So in 12 hour notation, it would be what? You'd have to write um, uh, 11, 45, okay? So this one would be in 12, uh, 12 hour notation. So 11, uh, 45 and 12 hour notation, uh, it's close to, to midnight. So what do you write in 24 hour notation? Um, there are way, many ways to, to go about it. You can use uh, just logical reasoning to say, okay, this has to be 23. But a systemic way of doing it is to just add 12 here. Whenever you're dealing with PM, just add 12. That's how you convert to um, 24 notation. Okay, so this one, when you add uh, 12 here, you actually get 2345. So 2345 hours here. Okay, so here you can say, um, before midnight, so it's p.m. Okay, so it would be 23:45 uh, hours. If you want, you can uh, put these as well. It's still fine. Okay, so that's just about it uh, for this question. I'll catch you in the next video when we continue from uh, question five. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and like and share as well. It helps others discover our channel. So thanks for watching. You're out.